Good morning. This is Angela with today's a cup of tea. Well, now we get down to it. We get down to doing the work. <laughs> and I don't like calling it doing the work anymore. It's called doing the fun because you know work implies that it's hard, it hurts, it's blah, you know. But it is really, really crucially important on at this point in our path. So we are in the process of finding our highest and best path. We are on, on it. As some of us are on it. Some of us are finding it. Some of us, you know, are well on our way up the mountain in, on an, in our individual roles in this huge symphony that we have during this the apex of this existence. So in doing that, inevitably, regardless of what you think is going to happen, there is a point where you have to take the mirror and turn it on yourself. So it's called, and that's why a lot of people call it doing the work, because you know what? It's really easy in comparison to work on other people. It really is because you, you don't have to have any emotional attachment. There's no judgment, right? There's no judgment on yourself. And who's the worst judges of our own? It's us. So time and time again, I start working with people and the whole goal for me when I'm working with somebody is first to help them clear out the muck and as they clear out the muck then also empower them to start being able to help themselves because in essence we all can heal, heal ourselves that's really what we're doing as a healing facilitator that's all I, I'm doing is heal, is facilitating the healing and giving you the pressure points and accessing you to the frequencies that I have access to that you might not remember how to access yet and then allowing you to heal from that and, and clear yourself and then move forward and expand your divinity, your abilities in your divinity and stuff. So, so what happens though is they like the feeling it provides when they're given, when you're given the work, when the work is do, being done, not for you, but with you. And some, somebody's there to hold your hand. Well, what happens many times is we don't really want to go beyond that. It's too scary because that means we really then have to look in the mirror without any, without any masks, without any filters. And it's really a big thing that's going on right now in society because, you know, if you look around you, everybody, like there's so many people, you know, they have cancer, they have masses, they have some weird sickness, some, you know, their whole body's not functioning right. All of this has to do, yeah, okay, people talk about this with the toxins, but what happens is we've allowed that to happen. And on top of it, we have also allowed what's happened to our bodies to happen. And that is because everything that happens to our bodies comes from the spirit, comes from the emotions and the spirit and the mind, and it manifests into the physical body. So it happens many times. Somebody will get a mass, somebody will get a tumor or cancer or um, some just serious chronic, they'll just have a serious chronic illness that pops up or it starts getting worse. Anything that's like that, cancer, chronic disease, something that comes back again and again, or takes a long time to get to a point of importance, that means there has been some stuff, some muck that has boiling, been boiling under the surface for a really long time. It's been simmering. And when it comes to that boiling point, it starts getting really, really hot and it creates that whatever disease and chronic issues in the body. Those are the deepest parts of us. Those are the darkest shadows within us. You know, we talk about shadow work. Well, this is part of what shadow work is. So the key is we all have the ability to instantly heal, to, to manifest an instantaneous healing. But to do that, we must truly look at the cause of what it is that's making this disease appear in our lives. That's making this chronic, and even if it's not a disease, even if it's a chronic negative something in your life, even if you're chronically having bad luck, you can't, you can't seem to do blank, you can't seem to keep a job, you can't seem to keep a relationship, there is something, if you are repeating the same pattern over and over again, there is something deep down for you to look at. And that won't fix itself. The more you ignore it, in fact, the more you ignore it, the bigger and bigger and bigger it gets. Look at how cancer works. Cancer works is at the cellular level. And I tell this to people a lot because we have a lot of people that are going through cancer right now. And what cancer cells do 
is they're actually toxin cells. They actually draw in toxins from around them in the body. It's sort of like their job is to hold the toxins so the other cells are unaffected. And what happens is when we have more and more toxins that build up, it distorts, then it becomes too big to hold all of it, and then it mutates, and then it starts growing uncontrollably because it's trying to keep up with all the toxins that are coming in and still trying to shield it from the rest of the body. That's what, in essence, a lot of times a tumor is and stuff like that. So the way they grow tends to be in this in this um, exponential curve kind of thing where you'll have it really, it'll be really, 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 really small and really minor, really minor, really minor, really minor and then bam, one day it's a tumor, it's a golf ball, it's an orange, it's huge, or it's invasive, it's painful, it's you know um, harmful to other parts of the body. That is because it comes from something that's been simmering under the surface for a really long time. So Yes, and children get cancer too. Lot, there are a lot of things that children get from their environment that gets them under the can, uh, under the under the life, under the skin. Also, many things pass forward from another life. If you if we have agreements, if we have certain agreements to have certain kinds of experiences uh, through the ancestral line, we'll be reborn into the same situation again and again. And yes, it does fester, and it can fester over many lives. So. That's where doing the work comes from. Because if we can't look at just the top level stuff, the stuff that's just making us like, you know, irritated or sad or upset or just giving us a roadblock in one place, then we can't get to the other stuff underneath it. <clears throat> many times, many times. Sometimes we can. Sometimes we get lucky and we can just pull that bottom thing out and pull all of it out. That's where you have somebody come and help you. That's you know like what I do and what a lot of people that I do do. That's that's how we help others facilitate in their healing because we help to find and intuitively look at it um, from the objective point of view and just sort of try to find that card at the bottom of the the house of cards to pull it out so that everything else comes comes with it. But if you have different issues, is what I'm really talking about, is that are um, unrelated to the other thing. It's really challenging to see it with a clear picture what the deeper stuff is so that we can clear it out. I always liken it to sort of like the kitchen counter. If you have 50 things on the kitchen counter and you have a whole bunch of dishes and you have a whole bunch of, you know, like, you know, old coffee cups and you have dishes and you have the mail and you have this and everything else, if something spills, it's going to spill over like six other things. And you're going to say, well, where the heck did that come from? Was it from this cup? Was it from this cup? Or was it from this pen? What, where did it come from? Because you're not going to be able to tell because everything's going to be so discombobulated and overlapping each other. If you start picking things up off of the counter one thing at a time, the more you do that, the clearer it is so that when something does spill, when something does become sort of a, a, a top and front situation, then you can simply wipe it up and clear it off without it affecting other things. That's really the bonus of doing the work. That's really what happens in us doing the fun is what I'm going to call it because I don't, it's fun because it really is like a puzzle because we're going, okay, so what is this related to? Sometimes people come, come to me and we start working together and it's like they have like all of these things that are integrated and the big puzzle that's really fun is to actually go and, and find the the one thing that's going to pull out half of it so that we can then focus on the other stuff and it sort of gets more space. So the key is to start one step at a time, to look in the mirror and say, what is this the cause? What, what causes this? What has caused me to do this or get here? Or why does this keep on coming up? What am I doing over and over and over again? Or what am I avoiding doing over and over and over again? It's causing this to come up because I haven't learned the lesson yet. And what's the easiest way to do that is to go into meditation, to clear your mind, and to ask the higher self the question and see what you get for an answer. Many times if you just journal, sometimes it'll just start coming to you when you start writing. As long as you can quiet the mind and let this information start coming through. So a lot of things to think about. If you have chronic stuff, if you have like a whole bunch of interrelated messy stuff, start picking off the pieces one at a time because here's the thing, like I said, if we avoid it, we're giving energy to it because we're afraid of it. We're giving energy to it with fear. It's when we look at it and we say, okay, let's dust it off, put it back up on the shelf. Okay, we're okay with it. Now we can release it. 
then guess what? Phew, we don't have to deal with that anymore. It's gone. So let's do the clearing for today. Would you like, and here's my Lee's, would you like all the following without trauma, drama, and illness, without creating or recreating a situation for illustration or experience, and all with ease, grace, balance, harmony, joy, fun, excitement, adventure, and love? Would you like all information to come to you for all, um, for all, this to, all these clearings and, and healings to come through for all versions of you, all times, all places, into the ever-expanding universe, to infinity and beyond? And would you like the information to come through to you via instantaneous and comprehensive download with fully conscious understanding in the version of you and the time and place from when it is requested? And also, would you like any cr of creator's truths and understandings, perceptions, to, uh, definitions, discernments that come through for this clearing and healing to become your own and you replace your own, become your own for divine alignment? Phew, so we got that all covered. Now, would you like to bring forward um, any situations where you have had where you have felt like you cleared out stuff and it just kept on perpetuating and it really frustrated you and angered you and upset you, uh, upset you. and get creator's truth and understanding as to what the lesson was from that and how and how to look at it the perception versus the truth I'm also hearing I'm going to back up here I'm hearing to resolve dissolve clear and release all etheric binding agreements that require you to avoid clearing out your muck, to avoid doing the work so that you can build upon that by experience, so that you can get ex gain experience by it. We have some of the most bizarre agreements, I'll tell you. Um, that, so, so it would require you to say like, okay, don't look at that because you know this way it'll build on your experience. It'll be a much more robust experience because you'll have all this stuff to, to work um, against you to try to get to that goal, all these obstacles. It'll be, it'll, it'll be more of a challenge kind of thing. So, would you like to dissolve, resolve, clear, and release all etheric bunny agreements that would cause you, you know, that would require you to do that? Thank all the parties involved. Open the doors to apology and forgiveness in both in all directions. Download the feelings and understanding of apology and forgiveness in all directions to and from all parties. Get creative truth and understanding as to how those agreements served you, and how they'll serve you to be without them. To pull all beliefs related to those agreements, including that doing the work is hard, doing the work is, is depressing, doing the work will make it more work, doing the work of clearing myself spiritually will make it more mucky, will make it more painful, will make it more scary, um, is just best to be avoided, um, takes away the fun in and the challenge in this existence by clearing away uh, and doing the work and clearing away the muck and on our spiritual journey. And to pull all fears, anxieties, regrets, rejections, resentments, anger related to those beliefs that's related to these agreements, as well as pulling the energy and memory of that from the cellular level, um, as well as all self-limiting th pulling so all self-limiting thoughts, words, and actions from the cellular level that have to do with all of that. Transform into creator's lights and back to creator. Close those receptors absolutely and permanently, and open new ones. Download the highest vibration of creator's unconditional love download the belief of I can enjoy I enjoy doing the work to clear myself out spiritually to, to clear out the muck out so I can progress spiritually I enjoy doing it I know how to have fun with it I know how I like it as it, it seems to be like a puzzle I know how to work the puzzle I know how to clear out the muck I know how to do the work to clear myself out spiritually and I can do so and still be challenged. I can clear out the muck that, that caused cause my obstacles and challenges and still have fun in this existence. So then we're going to download all the feelings associated with that, on knowing how to do that and feeling how to do that. And also that you're worthy, deserving, and able to, that it's possible, allowed, okay, and safe to, that you're ready, willing, and able to, and that you have that in your life right now. <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> um, then write off as completing the Akashic Records. Heal, resolve, and clear the timelines in all directions to infinity with the platinum and violet rays. And then offer to any and all ancestors and descendants as they so choose to accept. If you would like to receive that, take a deep breath, clear your mind, be open to receive, and say, yes, doing the work. And that's it. Have a great one. We'll talk to you next week. This is Angela with today's Cup of Tea.